AHS NYC pictured Russell Tovey as Patrick. CR, Perry Dukovic slash FX in the first 10 minutes of American Horror Story, NYC. A doctor uncovers the first signs of AIDS, a closeted leather daddy is decapitated, and Sandra Bernhard threatens someone with a knife. If this were any other TV series, it might leave most viewers puzzled, but in the 11th season of Ryan Murphy's Crown Jewel, it's par for the course. Yet, even with its rapid-fire beginning, the most surprising aspect of this horror show is how tame it feels. Set in 1981, AHS, NYC follows Russell Tobey as Patrick, a closeted gay detective who begins realizing a series of gruesome murders may be a serial killer hunting gay men. Patrick's partner Gino, Joe Montello, is upset when Patrick won't go on the record about the murders, and decides to use his own power as the editor of a gay publication to try and get the public to care Charlie Carver rounds out the central triptych as a young gay man named Adam whose friend gets a American Horror Story, NYC, Patti Lapone, Photo, Harry Dukovic slash FX as the central mystery ramps up, red flags rise and the first two episodes generate a slow burn mystery rather than diving headlong into unsettling horror. This being AHS, there is plenty of camp, like the serial killer turning out to be someone in BDSM leather named Big Daddy, but there isn't enough actual horror in this horror story outside of the depressing realities of being an LGBTQ person in the 80s. The show's second episode remedies a lot of the first exposition by depicting horrific moments, even if its story remains uneven. Hints of supernatural elements and government conspiracy are not unknown territory for the anthology, but the hints don't go far enough, leaving some confusion that ends up being distracting. American Horror Story, NYC, Isaac Cole Powell, a photo. Perry Dukovic slash FX Isaac Powell as an erotic photographer and Zachary Quinto as his rich, sadistic benefactor are another exceptional pairing, with Quinto particularly scary in his scenes, providing the show some of the visceral horror it needs. Moments of camp insanity, such as Patti Lapone crooning love songs to disinterested gays cruising in a bathhouse, are fun, but often come at the expense of any tension the show accrues. If AHS has taught its viewers anything, it's to expect the unexpected, as this show has proven in the past that it doesn't need a coherent reason to jump the shark and introduce bonker narrative pathways. It's likely only a matter of time before all hell breaks loose in the latest installment, as a series, AHS is not known for restraint. For fans of the franchise, or simply those looking for some amazing gay eye candy, AHS, NYC has more than enough to get you to tune in weekly. Whether the season will pan out into an amazing gay crime story or a horror story with an AIDS and discriminatory metaphor, AHS, NYC has at least laid out all the threads to weave together something terrific. What that something is, however, remains to be seen. New episodes of AHS, NYC air weekly every Wednesday at 10 p.m. ET, on FX and on FX on Hulu. Visit www.xnetworks.com. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.